This video is brought to you by Whatnot. I'm actually giving away 24 sealed collector booster boxes of Lord of the Rings on my next Whatnot stream this Friday. Use my invite code to get $15 off anything on Whatnot. More information at the end of the video. Everyone is talking about Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-earth, Magic the Gathering's newest universes beyond set, but no, the talk is not about the gameplay or the quality of the card designs, mechanics, nor the artwork, flavor, or even the legacy of the most famous fantasy story ever, painted across each carefully crafted card. Nah. The biggest thing that anyone and everyone is talking about is, of course, the single printing, one of one, one ring, a Magic the Gathering manufactured collectible that currently has a high offer of, and I am not making this up, two million dollars and a free paella dinner. Well, start stirring the rice and cooking the clams because the one of one, one ring has already been found. According to highly reliable source, the internet, the one of one one ring was found in Brazil. And that is just extraordinary because the night before it was found, a completely different individual emailed me video footage of them finding the one of one ring, a fittingly one second long video where they, offering no details whatsoever, would very much like me to help them get in touch with Post Malone. But before I could even reply to this person that if they sell the one of one one ring to Post Malone, then they won't be able to get that free paella dinner, a lucky attendee of Command Fest came up to me, showing me that in fact they had cracked the one of one ring and very kindly asked me to sign it for them. See, now if someone is trying to sell you the one of one one ring, check to see if it has my signature on it. Because if it doesn't, then that means, in the immortal words of Senator Vreenak, It's a fake. Wait a minute. I'm beginning to suspect that at least one of these three one of one one rings may be a fake. Ha ah, yes, so I suppose the search for the one of one true ring is still on, and that's pretty understandable because Wizards of the Coast has placed it in either a collector booster pack or in a bundle that contains collector booster packs, and that is where things get complicated because this bundle that is available on store shelves now does not have a chance at containing the one of one ring. Currently on shelves is the regular bundle for Lord of the Rings. This does not contain collector booster packs, but instead contains set booster packs, which do not have any chance of having serialized cards such as the one of one ring. It also contains 40 basic land cards, a spin down die, and of course the collector box. Added to these regular bundles are four scene cards, panoramic cards that combine together for their artwork to show a single scene. And the regular bundle are the Mount Doom scenes. And the price on this is about $40 to $42. And again, I want to repeat that though this is on shelves now, this cannot contain the one of one ring, as the one of one ring can only be found in a collector's booster. What might contain the one of one ring, or as I'll explain in a minute, is most likely to contain the one of one ring, is the gift edition bundle, which should be hitting shelves several weeks after launch, or possibly a week or two after this video goes up, depending on the air date. The gift bundle actually has everything the regular bundle does, eight set booster packs and the same panorama, but it includes a single collector booster, and because of the inclusion of that single collector booster, gift bundles are currently pre-selling for anywhere between $225 and $300. Now that may be quite a markup for a single collector booster pack, and it is. But the reason that you're seeing such a markup is because most people believe that Wizards of the Coast has intentionally put the one of one ring in a collector booster pack that's in the gift bundle, and not in a collector booster pack that's in collector boosters. More on that in a moment. But these are just two bundles, and there's actually six total bundles for Lord of the Rings. Or rather, there are these two bundles, and there will be four additional scene packs, and the scene packs are priced the same as a bundle and have contents almost identical to a bundle, so it's a case of what's in a name. Scene packs also cost $40 each, but instead of eight set boosters, will contain three 
preset boosters, and instead of a panorama, four scene cards will instead have one that can be made up of six. And other than a couple little things like some art cards, helper cards, a paper display easel, these $40 scene packs don't have much else. You're not getting the cool spin down die or the collector box when you buy a scene pack. And instead of eight set booster packs, you're getting three. Many people are gonna see these and confuse them with bundles. Many people are just calling them bundles. I think it's kind of fair to call it that. I don't even know anymore. The naming conventions of magic products make less and less sense. But when I look at a regular bundle costing $40 and having eight set booster packs, and these bundle-like scene packs costing $40 and having only three set booster packs, and then the gift bundle having the collector booster pack, which is what the one of one ring is likely to be found in, I think it's very fair for me to say to you, the customer, don't get fooled. The gift bundle is where the one of one ring is going to be found. The other five items here cannot even contain it. And of the remaining five items here, four of them are priced the same as a bundle, but have three booster packs instead of eight. Got it? Don't get fooled. So remember, the one of one ring is in collector booster boxes, but not the collector booster boxes that will come out later this year. And it is in bundles, but not the bundles that have already come out this year, the bundle that will come out later this year, but not the other bundles that will come out later this year. Got it? Because it's about to get more complicated. You see, it is very possible that Wizards of the Coast has intentionally seeded the one of one ring into the bundles that have not yet come out, so as to ensure that the one of one ring would not be opened on pre-release weekend or within the first couple of weeks of the set release. The reasons that they may have chosen to do this are obvious. If the one of one ring is cracked early, then the need for buying all of this other Tales of Middle-earth product decreases dramatically dramatically, especially the collector booster boxes, which are going for $500 each, as well as these soon to be released bundles that may have the one of one ring, likely have the one of one ring, so likely have the one of one ring, that instead of $40 each, they're selling for $300 each, currently on pre-order. And again, it makes a lot of sense that Wizards of the Coast would intentionally put the one of one ring not into collector booster boxes, but into the collector boosters that go into to the bundles that are not yet out because then they can sell bundles, a product that usually sells for anywhere between 40, 60, sometimes $80 if it's a special gift edition. Well, they're selling for $300 now on the secondary market and cha-ching, cha-ching. Now, whether or not bringing this level of gambling to Magic the Gathering, and Magic the Gathering has always been gambling, but I think there's a big difference between $4 booster packs that might have a $20 Planeswalker card in them and, well, this, whether or not this is actually good or bad for the game is an entirely different video. But what concerns me is the idea of you, the customer, being confused or possibly even fooled into buying a product thinking that you will be able to get something like the serialized one of one ring and in fact having no chance at all because, well, again, this bundle that's on shelves now doesn't have a chance at it, but maybe you heard that bundles do or some bundles do and there are six of them. It feels like there's a lot of this going on on in this set. Here is the labeling on Commander decks for Tales of Middle-Earth, and if you examine the way this is templated, I think it's reasonable to conclude that a lot of people might mistakenly read this as saying that this will contain one collector booster pack, because collector booster sample pack has been broken into two distinct items. So you might read this as contains item one, collector booster, item two, sample pack, and so on. I, of course, voiced concern and criticism over the way that these sample packs are called collector booster sample packs and the misleading nature of that labeling on commander decks back when they started doing it in the very first commander deck and was dismissed. But now that we see all of these other perhaps intentionally confusing aspects of the set, maybe I wasn't wrong in doing so. And while again, I want to save the conversation about whether or not this level of gambling is good or bad for the game for another video, I do feel very 
very strongly that this type of consumer confusion is not good for consumer confidence from a company that already has major issues in that area. Look at how they've labeled their Jumpstart boosters, for example, again for Tales of Middle Earth. Jumpstart was one of the best Magic the Gathering products ever made. But then Theme Boosters, one of the less good products that Wizards of the Coast makes, were given an overhaul and essentially turned into and relabeled as set Jumpstart packs. These Jumpstart packs were no good, but regular, real, true Jumpstart packs were still released once every other year, making it so that there's an extraordinary product called Jumpstart and an awful product called Jumpstart. And as the consumer base began to become aware of this fact, and watch out for the bad Jumpstart packs, Wizards is now relabeling these packs in a way that, again, might confuse people into thinking that these are the good Jumpstart packs. They're not. Don't buy them. And while bundles by themselves, especially when you can get them at or around $40 each, are a pretty good product depending on what your needs are as a consumer, do not buy this if you're thinking that this is a way to get access to packs that may contain the one-of-one one ring. It's amazing how much you have to be careful about just what you're buying from Wizards of the Coast these days. It's confusing and potentially misleading. So please be vigilant when buying any of these Magic the Gathering products so that you know what you are getting, know what you are spending your money on, and especially so that you know if what you are getting is something that has a chance at the one of one ring. Now, if you are interested in a collector booster box of Lord of the Rings, I'm gonna be giving away a bunch of these on my next Whatnot stream to just someone who's in the stream watching and enjoying the stream. If you're interested in getting one of these collector booster boxes for for free from me to you anywhere in the world. We're giving away a whole bunch at the end of the month on my whatnot stream, so be sure to check it out. All you have to do is be there and maybe you'll get one. And everyone who uses my code to sign up for whatnot at www.whatnot.com forward slash invite forward slash Tolarian College gets $15 to spend on anything on whatnot. There's all kinds of Magic the Gathering products, singles, packs, and other items available on whatnot. You don't have to even spend that on my stream. You get the $15 $15 just by using my code and maybe you tune into the stream at the end of the month and you'll walk away with a collector booster box pretty good, right? I'm actually giving away 24 sealed collector booster boxes of Lord of the Rings, courtesy of Whatnot. Thank you, Whatnot, for letting me give these all away. All you have to do is be present in my stream this Friday, and you might be one of 24 people to walk away with a collector booster box. And if you use my invite code, you get $15 to spend on anything you want on Whatnot. Whatnot is filled with Magic the Gathering cards, packs, as well as other cool things, and if you use my invite code, you get a $15 credit to spend however you want, wherever you want. And if you want to come and enjoy my next stream with me, I hope to see you there. I'm giving away a whole bunch of these collector booster boxes of Tales of Middle Earth, as well as a few other goodies. Uh, no, sorry, not the bundle with the chance at the one of one ring. They're not out yet, but we've got some other fun things, and I hope very much you join me, and I hope very much that this video has at least been of some help to you to make sure that you won't get fooled when buying a bundle for Lord of the Rings.